Oh, did you hear about the upcoming solar storm, little kitty? What? Some have water. Well, it has even more dangerous elements boiling at its surface. So in today's episode, let us explore the other side of the sun by answering a raging question. What causes solar storms? Zoom in! We often admire our amazing sun, which usually shines peacefully in the sky. But sometimes it gets upset and shows its anger through solar storms. During these storms, the sun releases a lot of harmful radiation and particles like solar flares and coronal mass ejections. If these bursts of energy reach Earth, they can cause serious damage. Let's find out why the sun gets so mad and why we worry about it. You see, from a distance, the sun looks like a solid ball of fire. But it's actually like an ocean of a fourth type of matter called plasma. What makes plasma unique is that it's made up of tiny charged particles like positively charged ions and negatively charged electrons, which move smoothly and create a magnetic field. This magnetic field in turn shapes the flow of particles like a loop famously known as a dynamo. But sometimes, due to plasmas churning and swirling, the magnetic fields can become twisted up like a knotted pretzel. These knots are like ticking time bombs, storing up tremendous amounts of energy like a pulled rubber band. And when they finally snap, boom! The sun can erupt in a dazzling display of plasma and other cosmic fireworks. Sending out solar storms in all shapes and sizes, like solar flares or waves of high energy radiation. These shooting particles race across the solar system and at times hit the Earth with tremendous power. What happens next will depend on the size of the storm. Luckily, in most cases, nothing will happen on Earth as our atmospheric layer absorbs most of the impact well before it can hit our surface. And in the case of a coronal mass ejection, sending electrified plasma our way, Earth's magnetic field leaps into action, deflecting the storm's energy toward the North and South Poles, decorating the sky with magical auroras. But the same can't be said about solar superstorms, which occur once or twice every century. If this happens, a CME carries billions of tons of scorching plasma, causing a shockwave that can compress Earth's magnetic field and in worst cases, stretch our field into a long tail. Eventually, the energy in this tail can be difficult to handle. As a result, it snaps and explosively shoots its energy toward Earth, causing a geomagnetic storm. This wouldn't have been a problem in the past, but today, when we are surrounded by machines and wires, the electric energy stored in the CME can completely destroy our satellites, power grids and communication systems. But luckily, humans have already figured out how to deal with such situations and are well prepared for them. However, experts aren't entirely sure how much damage such solar storms can cause to us, as some say they can only cause temporary blackouts, while others warn that extreme storms can be catastrophic. But what we do know is that the danger is real. So we have to be prepared for it and hope that our sun stays calm and we remain safe from its fury. 
trivia time. Did you know that the last major solar storm to impact Earth occurred on July 23rd, 2012? Yes. This event was known as the Solar Storm of 2012 or the Carrington Event of the 21st Century. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Esita and Alia. Hope you learned a hot topic today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, why are you building this car, Kitty? To chase Solar Storm! Well, never mind.